two things he took in your life was to be born again because from that day god also took an acute interest in you to protect you blessing to always come your homes every Wednesday evening. Send in your questions, send in your comments, continue to like, share, comment, the numbers are on your screen. If you have any issues, if you have any direction concerning anything, if you have any questions, send it. The numbers are right on your screen. Get this collection. Today, as usual, we have a very powerful man of God in the studio. He's very anointed when it comes to the books, especially written and open. By Bishop Dagwood Mills. I'm very privileged to have him in the studio with me. Apostle Thos, you're very welcome. Thank you so much, Pastor Steve. It's always a blessing to be on the solution in the Macarius. Thank you so much. Viewers, you are very welcome. We are about to delve into the book once again. Chapter 1 was powerful. I keep saying chapter 2 was mega. Chapter 3 was That's very those powerful. Who are offended. Hey, this book. The last episode, I said it. Apart from the Bible, those who accuse you, this is the next book we need, those who are offended. Offenses, Apostle shared last week on the episode that rejection is self-generated. Get to know more. Get to know how they're going to deal with their spirit of rejection. Everything is in this book and everything is here. The solution is right here in the Macarius Library. Apostle, today is another day. For us to be blessed. But first of all, mm. I would like to honor mm. God's servant, mm. my father, Bishop mm. Dyke, what knows mm. for the help mm. you know that he's been to the body of Christ, especially and also mm. through this book, those who accuse you. Since we started this series, so many people mm. saw that I've never mm. ever had so many testimonies wow. from the teachings from this book. Mm. Practical things people share with me about how the a series of teachings from offense has helped them. Mm. In fact, brother, it delivered them wow. from making tragic mistakes. Wow. You know, so I want to thank God's servants, wow. my father and the author, Bishop Dagwood Mills, for deliverance mm. through this mm. book, those who are mm. you. The word is deliverance. Yes. It's, it's the books, there are more books that will deliver you from every calamity you are going through. You just need the solution. And the solution is right here. Right here in the Macarius Library. Apostle, today is another day I have to say. Thank you. To bless us. I think today we will do uh, chapter 5. I think we are on chapter 5 now. Yes, please. Ah, I think it's those who are sad. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> God said it. He was saying, That's what I do unto you. Because I will do this unto you. Prepare to meet your Lord. God is into sake. I love the title. God sang mm. Adam from the garden mm. when Adam sang. Mm. But if you remember that as he was sucking him, he also preserved him even in the sake. Wow. Cain mm. was sang and was made a vagabond in the earth, yet still God took a mark of protection wow. also on him. Wow. God sang Ahab from being king, mm. but also continued to. So you see, don't let sucking cause you to become a monster. Mm, mm, mm. Do not let. Mm. I'm sure I've sucked you. Oh, many times. Time. Oh, many times. <laughs> but I see, you are supposed to say no. There are people watching. <laughs> I was not <on> extraordinary. <laughs> hey, many times, though. Many times. I've been sucked. But ask mm. yourself that where the sucking is justified based on your behavior. Very justified. So that's not, are you only saying you know, that's <laughs> oh, no, not to no, bad? No, no. Let me tell you a story that happened. I don't know if you were involved in that thing. Mm. But you know what a CD duplicator is? It's like, it's, it's a machine mm. that has one place you put the master CD and then other this about seven, eight, nine, ten, where you press a button and then you copies mm. the image 
nothing to do with the software, copies the image from the master CD and bends it onto the other CDs. I don't know if you're a part of that tragedy, but one day I gave some the media ministry in my church that went to many years ago. When I came back and I asked that, why have you done the way? He said, no. Why have you done the way? He said, there was a virus on the machine. A CD duplicator that doesn't use software. Virus only attacks software. They told me, should such people not be signed? Yeah. Should they be maintained to spoil their ministry, to prevent the word from going out? The Bible says the word of God was free. Great was the company mm. of them that published it. Mm. The word of God is supposed to be published. Mm. When people are being hindered from receiving the word of God, they become an obstacle and a hindrance to their ministry. And they should be removed. Otherwise, you see, there are some of you pastors who are sitting there watching me. Your ministry is not progressing. Your ministry is not moving forward. They're not even advancing in your building project actually because there are people working for you who are hindering you. But your strength and determination and wisdom or God's wisdom in sucking them like God does, you are not taking that decision to mm-hmm. sack people. Mm-hmm. So, people who shouldn't be with you are still with you. Mm-hmm. But I pray that by the wisdom here, you will not be at the and sack people in a way that they will not be offended. Yeah. Throughout the Bible, God said, I will use you again, I will use you again, I will use you. You sack this guy, you pray. One of the ways that God sack you is by killing them. <laughs> If I can wow. wow. God sacked Moses mm-hmm. for disobedience. God told Moses, speak to the rock. And Moses ate the rock. You know, and God said, I will never forgive you for this. I'm sacking you for being a leader into the promised land. Mm-hmm. You see, you don't you may not understand it, but you see, the first instruction was to strike the rock. And the Bible says that and, and that rock was Christ. So that face, strike the rock, water will come out, speaks of the crucifixion of Jesus. The second one, speak to the rock, means he make an intercession forever for us. Pray in the name of Jesus, he will answer your prayer. But Moses crucified Christ afresh. So he took the symbolism and the similitudes and the typology. God said, never. How can Joshua, be, when God sang Moses, was still alive. How can Joshua become the leader into the promised land? Moses has to die. You may be surprised that you are dying because God has sang you. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> this one is not in the book, so I don't want to give attention to it. Those who are sang, no, they get sad. offended. Mm. First Kings chapter 5, First Kings chapter 1, verse 5. Then Adonijah, the son of Hagen, exalted himself, saying, I will be king. And he prepared himself chariots and horsemen and fifty men to run before him. This Adonijah, mm. who is not supposed to be king. David said Solomon will be king, not Adonijah. Now look at what happens. And his father had not displeased him at any time. <laughs> How can you be a perfect child? This is what I was telling you in one of the earlier episodes that the guy had no destiny. Of importance, so he was never corrected. Yeah. His father had not displeased him at any time. He said, Why art thou done so? Mm. It cannot be that a child, everything is perfect. You went to a child, where you know, <laughs> <what I remember. laughs> and he was also a very goodly man. But the Bible says, For all have sinned, the Bible says that there's not, there's not righteous. No. And his mother bare him after Absalom, mm. and he conferred with Joab, the son of Zeru. I remember that Joab was. Um, a very disloyal person. So, usually, disloyal people and disloyal people flow together. Mm-hmm. So, I thought he have found one disloyal guy in David's camp mm-hmm. to help him. Mm-hmm. And he conferred with uh, Joab and with Abiata the priest. And they followed Adonijah and helped Adonijah. Mm-hmm. But Zedok, mm-hmm. the priest, and Benaiah, the son of Jehoiada, and Nathan the prophet, you know, this say the wider that they killed the son uh, Zechariah. Mm. But another son who was wise enough not to rebuke the king, he survived. <laughs> so <laughs> Zephyr the prophet and Benaiah the son of Jehoiada, and Nathan the prophet, and Shimei and Ray, and the mighty men who belong to David were not with Adonijah. Oh dear pastor, may God bless you with Zedok's 
and may God bless you with Nathan's, and may God bless you with Benaniah's, and may God bless you with mighty men who belong to you. May God be, may God bless you and anoint you and give you gifts of mighty men who belong to you and not around you. Jesus. No matter who the Joab in your ministry is, they don't follow Joab. Because in every ministry, there are mighty men apart from the uh, main leader. But may God give you, dear pastor, dear bishop watching me, dear overseer, dear founder of your ministry, may God bless you with Zadox, and may God bless you with Nathans, and may God bless you with Benaniah, and above all, may God bless you with mighty men who are solely loyal to you, and not to other jobs. In your ministry in, in, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Abiata the priest was dismissed by Solomon because he held the Oran mm. in the uprising that sought to make Adonijah the king instead of Absalom. Abiata had been a faithful priest throughout the reign of David and was of great help to David in the fight against Absalom. There are many people like who are like Abiata. He had a long track record of being faithful. But even a long standing and faithful person can do something that is deserving of dismissal. Lucifer had been there from the beginning. The anointed cherub that covered. But one day, one day, he did something worthy of dismissal. And the Lord, Elohim, dismissed Lucifer from. Heaven. You should learn, dear pastor, how to dismiss long standing people from your ministry. Irrespective of their period they are being. Yes. Be like God. You see, I, I am not seeing. That's why everything I say, I quote the scripture. And everything yeah. Bishop that's it. There's a scripture after. I said, tell me, so Lucifer was there from the beginning, the pride, the money star. The, when God was sacking him, he told that you were there from the beginning. Mm-hmm. Yet he still sacked him. Learn to start people who have been with you from the beginning. That's being important. Always remember that the king by judgment establishes the land. Solomon was forced to dismiss Apiata for joining the rebellion that sought to enthrone Adonijah instead of his Solomon, the rightful king. He would, he would have executed him if it were not for the fact that he had been to many battles with David and chiefly he had carried the ark of God. So Solomon respected that this was an anointed person. But you can dismiss an anointed person and he's so anointed that not. He did something deserving of dismissal. Solomon did the right thing and dismissed Adonijah the priest. You can be a priest. Why you so be dismissed because of what you've done? Because the king by judgment established it. Countries where there is no judgment, there is no justice, people break the law because they are close to the king, they get away with it. Law is not established in the land. I remember one country. One country. It's a thing. It's a thing. country. Somewhere in the world. Of course. And I remember when I was in that country, when it happened. An airport is an international security zone. Because you see, aeroplanes fly from everywhere to everywhere. All, all airports are in that lane. So an airport is a security zone. So one of the things about an airport is you never build permanent structures on it. And an airport is a controlled area. So those are country. A friend of the president went to, had part of the airport and built permanent, permanent structures on the Tarmac of the airport. In every airport, you will see containers or impermanent structures. But in this case, the friend of the president, the permanent you now the chairman of the airport, said, No, this thing you tell is not allowed. The interesting thing was, people didn't see what the man has done is wrong. They said, They told the chairman of the airport, Be careful, but this, this, this man has done something wrong. He's the president's friend. If you don't stop telling him you have done something wrong, the president will sack you mm. for doing the right thing. Mm. 
Mm. But the man said, I will do the right. I will do the right thing. Mm. A few weeks later, they sat there. <laughs> <laughs> so that country is not an established country. Mm. And you see how the economy is fragile. Mm. Because the king is not establishing just judgment in the land. Mm. By there being no justice. That country is a country. Yes. So what country. Solomon did the right thing and dismissed Apiata. And this is how it happened. Mm. First King chapter 2, verse 26 and 27. Then to Abiata the priest, the king said, Go to Anaho, to your own field, for you deserve to die. But I will not put you to death at this time, because you carried the ark of God. You see, there's also a message that do things for God so that even in the day of your calamity, the Lord will spare you wow. for what you've done for you. Wow. That mercy will be shown wow. mercy. because of your past acts mm. and what you've done for God, your commitment, your sacrifice. So build a bank of favor mm. for yourself. Mm. Build a bank of favor so that it's, so that in the day, in your dark and evil day, when you when you need favor, mm. that will we drop from your account. But he told me, I would have killed you. Mm. But because of what you've done for the Lord in the past, mm. I will spare your life. So you go to your field and stay there. Mm. Because you carried the ark of the Lord before my father, David, and because you were afflicted in everything with me, my father was afflicted. Mm. So that if you join yourself with the man of God, is going to trouble, mm. which is the next chapter. If people are offended because of the troubles of a man of God. <laughs> You were afflicted with the affliction, think my father was afflicted. So Solomon dismissed Abiata from being priest mm. of the Lord mm. in order to fulfill the word of the Lord which he spake concerning the house of Eli mm. in Shire. Mm. Unfortunately, many long standing employees, pastors, and leaders do not take God to be in this mess. Mm. Well, I have seen this. An example <laughs> that's coming, mean, that's making you smile. <laughs> Once again, ask yourself do you deserve to be dismissed? Do you deserve to be dismissed? That's the only that's question. question. Don't ask yourself, why should he dismiss me? How dare he dismiss me? After all that I've done, should he dismiss me? I rarely dismiss people, mm. but I have come to see that without dismissal, it is impossible to gain control over the organization that you lead. Yes, because people don't fear anything again, and everybody does anything they want because nothing will happen to them. Because it's true. I mean, it has reminded me of a government institution. They always say that government institutions they don't suck, so people tend to do anything. Oh yes, I know a government institution in a certain country. In the world. Mm. Recently, somebody told me of an employee who owns a place. We are in the year 2024 in that country. I'm not sure of the country. I forgot it. It doesn't matter the country. It is a country. It's a country. There's an employee. Let me not say that before I get into trouble. People <laughs> become and ask me what country it is. I really dismiss people, but I have come to see that without dismissal, it is impossible to gain control. You see, when people see that there will be no discipline, there will be no judgment, there will be no sacking, they become fearless. How how will you behave if there was no hell? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> dear pastor, dear man of God, what would you do if there was no hell? If there was no fear and reality of being judged and go to hell, we would become Violent, we will run, run short. I mean, we will get this behave. It is the fear of judgment that keeps us on the right path. It is important that your dismissal should be fair, just and equitable. It must not be too harsh and it must not be too lenient either. However, in spite of doing what is right, you will always have people who react badly mm. to being dismissed. It is amazing. I knew somebody once. He was working in an organization. He went home and left the office open. And somebody went in and stole all the money. Should tell the person not be sad. 
So when you are sad, why should you be offended? You should you also leave, leave a message for him? You see, but once again, you feel that, oh, if he loves me, why has he sad me? You too, if you love me, why, why have you left the same movie? It is amazing to see how people react to dismissal. I remember a brother, let me jump from, let me jump this. He went to do something bad. Something bad. When he was with you, he said, I am leaving your organization with, with a scar in my soul. Hey, let's see. Meanwhile, you have done something bad, and what you have done, you have left the scar in somebody's soul. You have left the scar in somebody's soul, yet you are saying, I'm living with the scar in my soul. You deserve the scar in your soul. What you have done, so that shall give you. But it's amazing how people tend to not reflect on what they did. But make everything emotional and it's all about them and not focusing on what actually caused the person to react or to even rebuke them. Because I like said that earlier chapter, you cannot even see the effect of your actions. You are a man of error. You are a man of error. That's why you cannot even see the effect of your actions. abused someone you don't know that this girl will live a life for forever with a scar in their soul you see you have not thought about the effect the effect of what you've done that such a girl may not even be able to trust men again may not ever be able to marry again because of what you've done that when she sees a man she sees somebody who does evil to her Sure, I'm not sure about that. Ah, uh, many people who are sad become disloyal and treacherous. The response to being dismissed is to become disloyal and treacherous. And I'm saying again, when God sad Adam, did he become treacherous? No. Hear you, but you are that. They, they told you, don't eat the fruit. You go to eat the fruit. You see, but remember that Adam was a godly man. They said that he was physically closer to God. You see, the more the closer you are to God, the better you will react to correction. I remember and um, I heard a uh, convenient preaching once, Bishop Intefo. You see, once, once again, once again. He is an anointed man. You see, that's the thing. Once again, you, see, you can see the differences based on the anointing levels. Like I said in the previous chapter, he is far from God. He doesn't receive correction. He doesn't hear from God. You see, now, I, now I heard Bishop Intefo preaching, and he was saying that he remembers a day Bishop gave him some work to do to oversee the Bible school and got the part of the Bible school that became full of rubbish. And when the bishop came there was very angry and really rebuked him. And he said he took it gently. You see, because he said, yes, he's angry. He's like, it's what he's saying true. It's what he's saying true. See, that's the only thing. It's what the person is saying true. Now, this bishop is therefore who is even chronologically older than bishop by age. But like someone once said, age base is not grace mm. Yes. So you are older than you, but okay. So if you are older than me, then why have you come into his ministry? Mm. Once you are in his ministry, then you are subject to him. Once you are subject to him, he should not even correct you. So see, we should correct them. Very stain because see, when you don't establish the kingdom by judgment, it rots. Yeah. Like he took it well, he made the corrections, tidy the places. Two weeks later, he was now put in charge of the Bibles. Wow. Because the humble person will be lifted up. Once again, see, Bishop in therefore is a very appointed person. God himself will speak. The appointed person will say it is correct. At another time, many years later, I said, I said there was a problem that came. And he had to be dismissed again. See, once again, you see, it's what he and he and he and he himself that when they dismiss something, he told you that look, this is the right decision. Based on my belief that you 
go out. Let me get right to the scriptures. I didn't believe well. You see, when you are anointed, the Holy Spirit, see, the Bible says that now I know that thou savest thou thy anointed, for thou shalt not cause him to be deceived. You see, sometimes you are deceived that you were right. But no matter your deception, you were deceived because you are not anointed. Mm. And so, because Bishop of Temple is anointed, we see that, oh, I didn't behave well. No matter what the person was doing, me being the senior, me being about, I should have reacted to the person this way. Tell them, this is the right decision you are taking to sacrifice. I deserve it. Yes. You see, when you are anointed, you will always take the right. Because God has ordained a lamp for his anointed. Mm. A lamp is something that you use to see your path. Yes, so because it's anointed, if that's what is best, you say, oh, yes, that's the right decision. Let's not go too far. The person speaking has also been dismissed several times. <laughs> that's when I began to chat, I began to laugh. <laughs> okay, 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 yes. okay. But you see people who are also this, you see, but the question is, you know, I remember a time. I was in charge of the crusade ministry, all the equipment, and we are not like a lot of things. I was in charge of the equipment. It's very, it's a very exciting job. Now, it got to a place where Bishop wanted to stream, to reorganize the whole crusade ministry, uh, ministry into a very meticulous, well defined, very organized, like in the way I am living faith that more. I remember one day he said, You see, there's some like an iron rod that is used to uh, secure the tents into the ground. There was only 120 cents. Now, what Bishop wanted was, in order for none to be lost, at the end of the crusade, gather all the 126 rods, line them up. 126. Not somebody, me or the person in charge, count one, two, three, four, five. I don't roll to one, two, three, four, five. I've run it at 26 before you plant them into the toilet. Plus, when I do that, <laughs> you cannot do this way. You cannot. You are, you are better way. 500 articulated tracks move. But when I look at you to go and bring them and bring 126, when they come, line them up. After lining them up, count. Then before that, you went one, two, three, four, five, seven, like ten. One box, one, two. Because I know this class for this one. You can't do it. So leave to other to the British department. I thought the world has come to an end. I said, no, it's right for me. But is that decision that has not behaved well? Is that decision that has been looking the well? You see, because I have it once again, I thought it, it was a very painful experience. But I sort of adjusted myself. You see, now the things you should think about it. Their organization is not for you. <laughs> you that's what I tell people. Their organization, their church, is not for you. It's for somebody. The person who said, come and do pussy, now say, go and do pussy. The person said, stay in this branch. But the person said, okay, now leave this branch, go here. It's a for you, or for your mother, or your father. It's a check your family businesses. If there, is there any organization in the world where they don't transfer and rotate people around? There is no I mean, I don't it is, it is our pride that wants us to stay in one place. The Bible says, and the spirit moved. If you have the spirit, movement will be part of your life. It's the lack of the anointing that wants you to stay in one place. Usually because you are doing it all day. Usually. Sure. So you don't want to do sure. So you understand. Like I'm saying, the person who sent you here when you were happy now says, now go here. Why are you sad? Sure. I heard some people complain that I've been transferred there, that, that. I mean, <laughs> the year 2020. I was transferred five times across five. What are you talking about? So I just look at them and laugh. <laughs> well, you're transferred five times. We need how many months? I think eight or nine months. Eight. And you have now <laughs> each movement, each movement is a new 
learning experience. Yeah. Yeah. Each movement yeah. is a new learning. You make new friends. Yeah. You have new relationships. Yeah. It helps you to learn the different aspects of the game and the different types of complications mm -hmm. that exist. The complication at the Kadesh mm -hmm. is different from the complication at Teshin. Mm -hmm. It's different from the complication in Lapon. Mm -hmm. If you love money, I'll transfer them twice in one year. Look how many money is! Twice in one year! That's so nice. <laughs> and everywhere I go, I learn something. How to put a big complication, a small complication, a little complication, their needs are different. If that makes you broad, mm. and therefore more suitable for more things. Mm. And gain more experience. More experience! I mean, the key Apostle has highlighted is the anointing and the humility. Yes! If you are very anointed, some of these things, if you are being sacked or dismissed, you take it holy. They are anxious. Like Jesus was in heaven, they transferred into hell. Oh. Then they transferred into hell. Oh. Jesus was transferred to hell. Yeah. And, and after three days, he was transferred again oh. to hell. Oh. Hallelujah. Then after 50 days, he transferred back to heaven. <laughs> Where is it now? Come and rest forever. <laughs> Just be praying there. <laughs> Jesus was transferred from heaven to earth. Then from earth, we sing it out of the night of Gideon for man. He was transferred. Then from earth, he was transferred to where? Hell! He was transferred to hell for three days. Very powerful revelation. Transfer Christ. Transfer to hell. Wow. Then from hell, he was transferred back to earth. Before he was transferred back to heaven. Where he was made permanent. He said, the man has suffered so much, you can't be arrested. He was not offended at all. The Bible says he did that he did not count his property. Oh, he didn't say the father has cheated me. Because, brother, where Jesus was transferred, his original church, the streets were made of gold. Now, when he was transferred to streets are made of gas, then the next one, the streets are made of fire. <laughs> Back to the dark again. It is pride that makes us be against transfers. Pride. I remember when I went from India to Bangladesh. My first time in Bangladesh, I said, Lord, I'm busy. I arrived there around, uh, I was supposed to arrive there around 6 p.m. Then the flight delayed from Nepal. So by the time we got to Bangladesh, it was around midnight. All the taxis are good. The only taxi there, there were no seats. And so we sat on the metal floor of the car. I don't know if you understand. <laughs> we sat on the metal floor of the car. That took us to the center of town. When we arrived there, is there a camp where we swim? So I carried my suitcase over the footbridge. The hotel we slept in. Ah. Uh, as I was sleeping, I think I was awake in my sleep. I didn't know whether I would be attacked or woke up in the morning. When I got it, there was a slab like center town with rubbish. But we arrived there on a Saturday. But then their weekends are uh, Fridays and Saturdays. So we arrived on a Saturday. By the grace of God, by the next week, Friday, I was having the church service with 12 people. That was the start of. Lighthouse Chapel or Judy or whatever the name in wow. Bangladesh. Oh, yes. Wow. But being transferred from glorious India. Wow. Oh, yes. Wow. Honestly, you see, mm. every mission is a learning experience. You can learn how good friends just a few days ago, 31 of my ship in Bangladesh. Wow. I saw he has given birth to the wife. I was telling you, yeah. I'm truly international. You know, men are good. I'm also international. I'll ship all over the world. You know? So accept it and don't think that we be, be like Christ who didn't think and think were being robbed or cheated through his dismissals. And transfer, because some people also become offended through transfers. And transfer, you are dismissed from it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dismissal. The response to people being dismissed is become disloyal and treacherous. It is important to take strong decisions in the church. And in the organization that you did, if you fail to take strong decisions to dismiss certain people, the organization will fall apart. Proverbs 29 4. The king by judgment establishes the land, but he that receiveth gifts overthrows it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what you talk about bribes of the TV show. 
It is only by judgment that you can establish your church. When I look back at the short history of our church, it is the hard decisions that we took that has that have transformed the church into a worldwide ministry. When you allow one center of decay, dear pastor, to continue in the same way, the rot and the correction spread out like a canker and will defile the church, but a little living, living at the whole down. Sack the offending party. Mm. No, in uh, Bishop's book, The Art of Shepherding, he said one of the ways to protect your sheep is something that is a particular sheep that fights everybody, mm. bats head, is always in disagreement. It is not a sheep. It is it's not a sheep that behaves like a sheep. What a poor shepherd does it, he kills that sheep to protect the rest of the flock. Failing to discipline people is one of the greatest mistakes you can ever make as a leader. Because, you see, like marriage, when you get married, what happens is, some, some, see, the man is the head, but sometimes the wife likes to test the boundaries. Test the boundaries. Test the boundaries mm -hmm. to see what her husband can. To see the level of foolishness which the husband can tolerate. Mm -hmm. I remember a story. Mm. This is not part of the book, it's just a story. I mean, I don't even know what it means. Just listen to the story. Listen. There were two friends who got married around the same time mm. to two of white who were similar. Mm. One day they went home late from church, they got them around 1 a.m. Both couples were hungry. Or both husbands or both couples were hungry. There was anger. Mm. Couple A. Wife A gave husband A Cerelac mm. to eat at 1 a.m. Wife B gave husband B also Cerelac. I don't know if they discarded it before they went home. But when wife A gave husband A Cerelac, Amagedon came to the house. Amagedon. It's like Satan visited them. Wife B, mm. who gave husband B the Cerelac? Husband B ate the Cerelac like that. Can you believe that up to today, husband B is Cerelac in the night? Husband A has never seen Cerelac again. As the food was sacked from the table, that food has never come back again. But the one who allowed Cerelac to be ministered to him has continued to eat Cerelac like a one year old baby. I don't know what they can be Because what you allow will continue. Yes. The bad behavior you don't dismiss, mm. the bad behavior you don't correct mm. will continue. Mm. How is cancer removed from a body? By cutting it out mm. so that mm. the breath of the body will mm. survive. Mm. That's why when Jesus saw an orangu in his ministry, mm. an orangu is a name for a disloyal person, an orangu is short form for orangutan. An orangutan. An orangutan. Mm. Jesus told his orangu. What, go out, what thou do and do quickly. And the Bible says, Judas went out. Jesus also sent his disciples to protect the rest of them. But otherwise, Judas would have called Bartholomew mm. and said, Bato, <laughs> there's some move. <laughs> but you know, Jesus says he's going to die. And Charlie, I've made a deal with the Pharisees. Mm. So, Bartholomew went. I'll tell Jesus that uh, the wine is getting filled up. Since he did the communion, the wine has filled, so I'm going to the shop to go and buy some. Mm. But so, so what to do is you when I go to the shop, when you see that I've gone to the shop, then tell Jesus that I go to go and use the washroom. Mm. But I'll be waiting for you outside. Actually, the Pharisees know they keep it that some dirty piece of silver. Mm. But I'll tell that since I've come with you, you should also give yourself what Jesus knows. Going to die tonight, mm -hmm. so we have to secure ourselves. Mm -hmm. It's possible. <laughs> we have written a whole story. But Jesus said, All of you will, will forsake me. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you this I was in a book fair in India and I saw a book by a certain great denomination. I was sharing a book stand with them. One of the chapters was on the betrayal of, a, of a Jesus. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I saw in the book? Dear Father, you won't believe what I saw in the book. Mm. What I saw in the book was supposed to be the actual suicide note that Judas wrote to Peter. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I read it. Dear Peter, look, Judas was very angry. <laughs> hey. Hey. Judas was 
very angry. He said, we were all at the table, but then said, let me not tell you what the place is corrupt your mind. But at the end, Judas said, I'm going to kill myself. Oh. Signed, Judas. Oh. Oh. But Jesus saw it. Mm. He said, what thou do it too quickly? Go, go out, go out now. So learn, learn to set people to preserve the organization. Let me repeat it again. Failing to discipline people is one of the greatest mistakes you can make, ever make as a leader. Failing to sack and dismiss people when you have to will be the undoing of your entire ministry. Mm -hmm. But remember that Bishop said earlier that sack in a uh, sack in a way that is not too harsh and in a way that is not too lenient. See, you need this book to guide you, mm -hmm. not just to navigate through offense, but in order also how not to offend how. It's very important. Because once people are offended, usually you have lost them. Mm -hmm. Or lost them to a certain extent. Because of offense comes to different extents. You see, but when you offend, you offended people to a certain extent. So try not to offend at all. And this book mm -hmm. will help you. Father wow. Steve, thank you so much oh, for another you. episode that we're receiving. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Apostle. Thank you so much. I don't know what to say. I believe you are so blessed. Sacking is very important. If you want your ministry to progress, sack people. Sack people who are not performing. And if you are also out there who have been sacked, think of everything that went on. Yes. What was your role? Where do, do you even deserve to be sacked? That's the question you have to ask. What you did? Do you think it was a method to you? It was done to you? You would have allowed it to go? No. You are saying no. Please, send your comments. Continue to share the link. It's been a blessing having you each and every Wednesday evening. God bless you so much. I've been a regular host. We have had a powerful, world renowned book minister, Apostle Thoughts. He has shared so many experiences. I mean, you see, he's the best person. His yes. examples keep coming. He, he will say, Let me not start with this example. Then he give another <laughs> example. I mean, it shows how experienced he is. Apostle, we are blessed to have you. All Thank glory you so to much. God. All Thank you so glory much. to God. And please, All the numbers, God. as usual, are on your screen. Send a text, send a WhatsApp message, wherever you are in the UK, US, Canada. This is a worldwide event or worldwide program. The solution is obviously in the Macarius. Get yourself a Macarius 51 to 100, and your life will never be the same. Thank you so much. I'm very privileged. I'm very humbled to come your way. See you next week, Wednesday evening.